Okay, everyone. So yesterday I forgot to uh, discuss uh, Mike Pence's um, campaign speech uh, as he announced he was running um, in the 2024 Republican primary. Um, if you haven't saw that, uh, yesterday's video, I, I discussed um, Chris Christie's announcement um, and how he um, surprisingly um, stood up to Donald Trump and Trumpism. I was actually pretty impressed by that. Now, I've said this time and time again, I'm not a Republican, um, nor will I ever support a Republican for the 2024 nomination. I will, I'm, I'm, I'm supporting Biden 100% because, frankly, all these candidates suck. Um, and that's really an understatement. They really suck. Um, but I was, like I said, I was surprised yesterday when I watched uh, Chris, Chris, Chris Christie's uh, announcement where he actually um, stood up to Donald Trump and Trumpism and called him out for it. Um, and I did a little short, I did a little short of, just this is just a side note, I did a little short yesterday um, of Chris Christie responding to the negative uh, attack uh, from Donald Trump in his announcement. If you don't know already, Donald Trump posted a video on his truth social crap um, after the announcement of Chris Christie, uh, mocking Chris Christie for his weight, um, um, basically editing the video of uh, Christie's announcement, um, making it like a buffet type thing. And it was about our country and its future. And I wondered what our choice was going to be. We're going to be small or are we going to be big? And Chris Christie basically responded um, to that, saying he's he's a baby. He's like he's like a child. What, what did you make of that? What was your response to that? You know, uh, when I saw Jake, I it just renewed in my own mind what a child he is. He's a baby. Um, whenever you want to criticize him um, in any way, that's the way he responds. And you and I are both lucky enough to be parents. Um, and if we had a child who conducted themselves like that, um, we'd send them to their room, yeah. not to the White House. Yeah. Um, and I think character is destiny for this country. And we've got to make a decision about what the character of the person should be who sits behind the desk in the Oval Office. And if they're going to do that kind of stuff, I mean, it doesn't even, it's, it's, it's so childish. It's so juvenile. He is such a spoiled baby that, you know, I, beyond that, what, what can you even say about something like that that's that ridiculous? You know, I, I if we want to break news here today, um, I've struggled with my weight for about 20 years, like tens of millions of Americans. The devil, you said. Right, exactly. Um, so he's breaking news there. He's, yeah. he's telling people something they don't know. Um, in the end, for me, um, it's about how you perform as a person. Um, and this is um, actually, like I said, um, I'm, I'm not a Republican, nor do I like any of these Republicans, but I, I am really amazed that Chris Christie stood up to Donald Trump and, and, and called him out um, for simply being a bully. I mean, and he even said, Chris Christie even said himself that um, this is something that if a child would do, they would get punished for. We would send them to the room if they would mock somebody like this. I mean, this is, this is, this is childish. This is really, uh, and this is kind of an understatement too, because some childs wouldn't even do this. Some childs aren't even as harsh as this. I mean, um, which is very ironic and hypocritical also because Trump himself is incredibly obese. Um, so I, I find that not only not only that's harassment, not only that's very childish and stupid, um, that's some that's uh, might not even be as bad as what a child would do. Uh, not only that, but it's also very hypocritical because, um, like I said, Trump himself is obese as well. Um, it really uh, unhealthy, unhealthy, un, un, uh, unhealth, uh, unhealthy obese. Um, so that's just, it don't make no sense at all. But Mike Pence, um, the former governor of Indiana um, from 2013 to 2017, and obviously the former vice president, Donald Trump's uh, vice president, um, Mike Pence has announced he is running 
uh, for president in 2024, just the other day, along with uh, Chris Christie and some of these other candidates. Um, and I, I said this in yesterday's video. Um, I sound like a broken record saying it over and over again. Uh, I don't think anybody in this Republican primary has a chance. Um, and I said this yesterday, it is too much of a cult for them to move on from Donald Trump. I mean, they seriously are like attract, attracted physically, and I even, I even think sexually attracted to Donald Trump. I mean, these people are a dangerously uh, cult-following group of, ind of individuals. I mean, it, you don't, it doesn't matter what Trump does, they will still stand by him and, and stick up for him, no matter what he does, even if it's illegal. Uh, even if it's uh, harmful, even if it's a bully, if it, even if it's something that a, a, not even not even a five-year-old child would do, um, they'll still stick up for him. It's it's so, and I can't stress this enough. It is so, uh, they are so attached to him. It's it's literally the example. It's literally the definition of a cult. Um, they worship this single one man, and they can't they can't move on. Uh, they can't move on. But I said that yesterday. I don't think any of these other candidates have a chance. Uh, DeSantis, I think, has a very slight chance. But he's uh, he's trailing Trump by 30% in the polls also. Um, but anyways, moving, we're going to take a look at uh, Mike Pence's uh, uh, announcement uh, from yesterday and how he uh, actually uh, attacked Donald Trump. Uh, he didn't quite go as far as Chris Christie did. Um, which Chris Christie attacked him for many things. He even attacked his attacked his family, which I which I applaud uh, Christie for doing. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of Christie and I'm not a Republican, like I said, um, but Mike Pence kind of stated the obvious. Um, basically, he was talking about January 6 and um, how Donald Trump has always um, kind of hated Mike Pence, literally. Um, ever since January 6. Um, and as we know, and if you don't know, you're kind of dumb. I'm, I'm just saying, Mike Pence had no control to overturn the 2020 election. It's in, the, it's in the Constitution. He had no power whatsoever, regardless of what anybody says, regardless of what um, the orange man says. Mike Pence singly did not have the power to overturn the election, the 2020 election, even if he wanted to. Um, and obviously, Trump and his supporters were um, trying to get Pence to singly overturn the election. And when he didn't, which he couldn't, even if he wa even if he wanted to overturn it, um, they literally wanted him hanged. Um, Trump literally could have gotten his own vice president hanged, and I, that's just uh, it. Just amazes me. Trump, when given the opportunity to apologize in the, I believe, CNN town hall. He said he doesn't owe Tr Mike Pence an apology. Uh, but we're going to take a look at this clip um, of the Mike Pence announcement and what he had to say about Donald Trump um, during January 6. All right, so here it is, the clip of, of the announcement of Mike Pence uh, for 2024, um, where he uh, attacks Donald Trump and his rule on January 6 and what he caused. This is kind of like a stating the obvious though, but let's just take a look at what of what Mike Pence said at his announcement. January 6 was a tragic day in the life of our nation. But thanks to the courage of law enforcement, the violence was quelled and we reconvened the Congress the very same day to complete the work of the American people under the Constitution of the United States. Mm -hmm. As I've said many times, on that fateful day, President Trump's words were reckless. Oh, uh, big time. <laughs> he endangered my family and everyone. Oh, yeah, he did. But he okay, pause for a second. <clears throat> I am actually glad. This is the first time Mike Pence actually uh, directly attacked Donald Trump for this. This is the first time. He hasn't directly attacked Donald Trump. And Mike Pence has never said has never directly said that Trump endangered him and his family. And this is the first time he says that. He said that. Now, that's kind of obvious. I mean, any person with a brain should be able to admit that, that Donald Trump uh, was a threat to, to Mike Pence and his supporters. And Donald Trump obviously was uh, uh, had a big, huge role in that. 
I mean, it, and what people don't understand is this entire thing with January 6th would have never happened if Donald Trump would have just not lied, if he would have just accepted that he lost the election. I mean, this is, this is something that no one has done in the history of our country. Every presidential candidate has been able to simply admit that they lost. Um, and Donald Trump, to this day, still, still has no, uh, still refuses to admit it. He said it behind closed doors. He said it behind, he said it behind closed doors, and we have tapes of that. But he's, he's never, he, he never condemns, um, the violence, and he just, uh, makes it worse, if that's even possible. Um, but continuing with his, Mike Pence's speech. American people deserve to know that on that day, President Trump also demanded that I choose between him yeah. and the Constitution. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Now voters will be faced with the same choice. I chose the Constitution, and I always will. I okay, so um, you didn't really choose it, because like I said, even if you wanted, even if Pence wanted to overturn the election, um, he, he, he doesn't have the power to singly overturn the election. Uh, that would go against the whole, entire Constitution. He had uh, no say in overturning the election. Um, you can't just, a single person can't just overturn an entire election and overturn the will of the people. Um, but continuing... I believe that anyone who puts themselves over the Constitution should never be President of the United States. Mm -hmm. And anyone who asks <laughs> someone else to put yeah. them over the Constitution should never be President of the United States again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in case you don't know, that was directly attacking Donald Trump. Um, this was kind of, like I said, this, is kinda, this was kind of just like common sense. Um, people who uh, incite riots at our capital, at our own capital, and continue to spread the same lie that caused that to this day shouldn't be president. That should just be obvious. Um, so Mike Pence basically just stated the the complete obvious. I mean, if you don't, and if you don't realize that, and if you cannot process that, there is seriously something wrong. There is seriously something mentally wrong with you if you cannot uh, admit that uh, that what Donald Trump was did was wrong and people like that shouldn't be president i mean this is this is president we're talking about this isn't a com a, a comedy award this isn't um entertainment this is the highest office in the entire world um the presidency of the united states and donald trump and these idiots like donald trump and ron DeSantis and uh there, there's a, there's a lot tim scott these people don't want to be comedians they don't want to be uh, uh, in entertainers or parody parody uh, sk uh, people who make skits. They want to be the president of the United States. Someone who picks fights with Mickey Mouse and who threatened to build a prison next to Disney Disney uh, World wants to be president. I'm serious. This is not this is not made up. Ron DeSantis who picks fights with Disney cartoon characters and. Uh, has has beef beef with Disney because they hire uh, members of the LGBTQ community. Wants to be president, president of the United States, not any other uh, not any other small thing. He wants to be the highest office, and th this is just people need to wake up. People really need to wake up. Um, but then again, like I said, Mike Pence just stated the complete obvious. This is obvious. This shouldn't be, we shouldn't be applauding Mike Pence for this because this is obvious that Don, what Donald Trump did was wrong. And Donald Trump did almost get Mike Pence, his own vice president at the time, killed. Um, but that's, this is why we need to elect Democrats because Democrats not only admit this, but try to get things done bipartisanly to prevent this from happening in the future. Like uh, the uh, Electoral Count Act, this, which we passed, um, I believe in 2022, uh, we, we actually do something. Um, and it's very hard just to get a Republican to admit it. Um, very, very rare, like, like Mike Pence did. Um, but just vote blue. 
I mean, that's literally the only option. There's just, there's just no, there's just nothing else at this point. You can't, you, it's just, uh, it just doesn't make any sense. But yeah, that's, that was Mike Pence's uh, uh, 2024 announcement against Donald Trump. How do you think this will play out? Do you think this will be like, basically kind of like monkeys throwing their crap at, e at, e at each other? Like little toddlers taking their crap and just throwing it back and forth at each other? Um, do you think it will be interesting watching Republicans in the Republican Party crash on each other and f the Republican Party uh, fall apart? It's the Republican Party's already dead, but uh, thank you guys for watching this video. And see you guys in the next one.